Once Gautam Buddha was sitting outside the hut and one of his disciples was watering a flower plant. Then suddenly his eyes fell on Gautam Buddha. The disciple saw that Gautam Buddha was smiling. The disciple immediately came to Gautam Buddha and asked the reason for his smile. So Buddha told, Disciple, I was just thinking of doing a human test. Let's do human test today. After that, Gautam Buddha went to a village with his disciple. He found a prostitute there and started questioning Gautam Buddha that you look like a prince and a king. Then why have, have you taken sannyas? Gautam Buddha replied to that prostitute woman that I have adopted sannyas to know the answers of three questions. The prostitute woman said that what are the three questions because of which you have adopted sannyas? Gautam Buddha said that our body is young and attractive. But time will pass and with time our body will get old and sick. After that the body will attain death. I want to know the cause of old age, sickness and death. That's why I have taken sannyas. The woman was very impressed after listening to the wise words of Mahatma Buddha and invited Mahatma Buddha to have food at her house. As soon as the people of that village came to know about this, the villagers came to Mahatma Buddha and said that you should not go to that woman's house because that woman is characterless. Mahatma Buddha called the Sarpanch of the village and asked whether it was true that woman was characterless. Sarpanch also told Buddha that Mahatma Buddha these villagers words are true that woman is characterless. And then Mahatma Buddha held one end out of the Sarpanch and said, Sarpanch ji, now you show, show by clapping. So the Sarpanch was surprised and said that this is not, not possible. It is impossible. One hand never claps. Then Mahatma Buddha said, in the same way, no man is characterless alone. If that woman is characterless, then all of you villagers are also characterless. So I should also not come to your house. If you are not characterless first, then that woman also would not have been characterless. After listening to Mahatma Buddha, all the villagers bowed down in front of Buddha and started apologizing of their mistakes. And then Mahatma Buddha had food at the house of that prostitute woman. So guys, you see, we get the lesson, this lesson from this story that we do not have the right to call anyone characterless. Before that, we have to see in ourselves that we are completely pure. Aren't we characterless? First of all, we should remain pure in body and mind. After that, others should be called characterless. Dear friends, do subscribe to our channel to watch such inspirational stories every morning at 6 am. Thanks for watching.